Pajamas, we got some special news and thing for you all the way from Mouseland. We here to tell you that the Easy Crew are back to share some seriously cool new adventures with you. Ah, me love that CBB's vibe. Wicked! Genius! The Easy Crew is on the kiss. Check it out. <laughs> Brand new and boom bastic. Rasta Mouse starts Monday at 5.15, only on CBB. Iron Man. There's a man on the moon, you can count on him. He's getting lunar and his name is Jim. Lunar Jim, let's get lunar! Lunar Jim, let's blast off! Rover and Ted are by Jim's side. There's adventure ahead and a lunar with it ride. Two and one and two and one and two. Whew, I need a drink of water, Rover. That's true. You don't need to drink water. That's because you're a robot. But people need water to stay healthy. Jim, could you come to Mission Control straight away? We're getting a signal from a spaceship in trouble. I'll be right there, Ripple. Come on, Rover. That doesn't look good. The spaceship is called the SS Plantstalk. It's sending out an SOS signal. SOS? That means it's in trouble. I'm going to try calling it on the radio. This is Moona Luna to SS Plantstalk. Can you hear me? Whoa! What's that? Who's calling for help? No one called for help, Ted. Of course they did. If you had super sensitive antenna like I do, You'd hear it clear as a bell. All I can hear is static. And it's coming from the uh, SS Plant Stalk. Really? What does it say? Hmm. Spaceship hit by meteorite. Water running out. Astronaut in trouble. It stopped. Oh, no. It sounds like the SS Plant Stalk was damaged when it was hit by a meteorite and the astronaut is in trouble. We need to help. Ripple, you and Ted head over to the moon port. I'm going to try and guide the SS Planstock in for an emergency landing. We're on our way. Come on, Ted. Whoa! Pixel, can you give me control of the SS Planstock steering wheel? I am connecting to the SS Planstock. You now have control of their steering wheel, Jim. OK, then. Steady. Steady. A little to the left. And... The SS Plant Stalk has safely landed at the moon port. There is definitely some damage from a meteorite. I hope the astronaut is okay. Ooh. Hello? Hello? Uh, Ripple? What is it, Ted? There's no astronaut in here. It's empty. Jim, Ripple here. We've checked the spaceship. The astronaut is missing. The astronaut must have ejected from the spaceship in an escape pod. But an escape pod could have landed anywhere on the lunar surface. You and Ted start repairs on the SS Planstalk. Rover and I will find that escape pod. Come on, boy. We've got to search for a missing astronaut. Let's get Luna! to search all over and quickly so let's take the scrambler there's no time to lose rover come on ready boy three two one blast off That's definitely the escape pod. Good spotting, Rover. Hang on, boy. Hello 
in there. Are you all right? Hmm. Uh -huh. I don't know where the astronaut is. The only thing in the escape pod is this plant. Yes, it does look a bit droopy. Let's take the plant to Eco. He can take care of it at the Eco Dome while we keep searching for the missing astronaut. Take a look at this, Eco. It definitely needs water. You said that you found it in the escape pod. That's right. But no sign of the astronaut. Only this plant. Do you think it'll be okay? I'm sure it'll perk up after I water it. <coughs> That's right, Rover. Plants need water to live, just like people. Speaking of people, we better get back to our astronaut search. Let's go, Rover. <coughs> Whoa! Come in, Jim. How's it going at the moonport, Ripple? Well, I fixed the SS plant stalk, but we found some strange things that you should come and see. I'm on my way. Let's go, Rover. <laughs> find any food supplies on board, but we did find these. Potting soil for planting flowers? Yes, and another strange thing, the spaceship has very large water tanks. They were damaged by the meteorite and all the water was gone. I've repaired them, but I've never seen a spaceship carry so much water before. You think that's strange? Look what I found. These are pictures of plants. I've heard of astronauts travelling with pictures of friends and family, but never of their plants. That is odd. There are plants everywhere. Rover and I have found a plant in an escape pod, but no astronaut. <laughs> the astronaut must really like plants a lot. <gasps> Maybe the astronaut is some kind of plant expert, like Eco. Maybe it's someone Eco knows. Come in, Eco. Jim here. Hi, Jim. Did you find the astronaut? Not yet. But we think our missing astronaut might be someone you know. Have you ever heard of a spaceship called the SS Plant Stalk? No, I don't know anyone who has a spaceship called the SS Plant Stalk. Oh, well, it was worth a try. Jim, that plant you brought me is doing much better now. Hmm. You know, I think we should stop by the Ecodome to have another look at that plant. OK, see you soon. Shouldn't we be searching for the missing astronaut instead of looking at a silly little plant? Well, so far, that plant is our only clue to finding the missing astronaut. All right, everyone, we have a mystery to solve. Where is the missing astronaut? Let's look at the clues again. Well, first we got a call for help from the SS plant stalk. But all we found on board were bags of soil, huge water tanks and pictures of plants. And the only living thing we've found so far is this strange plant. Astronauts usually travel with pictures of their friends and family. Hmm. And these pictures look like the plant we found. Hey, I'm getting a signal. The astronaut from the SS plant stalk is sending another message. What's the message? I'm right here. Where? I can't see anyone. No. Turn around. Hey! The plant! It's... Uh-oh! It looks like Ted's having a short circuit. Look! <gasps> Jumping Jupiter! The plant is the missing astronaut. Well, I'll be an apple dumpling. <laughs> now I've seen everything. Uh-huh. Oh, you don't say. She says her name is Commander Greenleaf, and she's from the planet Starseed. She says, thank you for rescuing me and watering me. Well, Commander Greenleaf, you're welcome. It was good to meet you, Commander Greenleaf. Your water tanks are all filled and ready to go. Well, Commander Greenleaf, now you'll have plenty of water for the trip back to planet Starseed. Here's a new picture for you. Oh, she says thank you and good luck. Three, two, one, last off. <laughs> Goodbye. See you soon. Have a nice trip. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>